My name is Graham Cartwright. Graham Cartwright. Graham Cartwright. Graham Cartwright. Is this real? Am I really back in my office? No, sorry, John. We're simply traveling through your memories in astral form. That's why you still look like a big cartoon teddy bear. And why my head is sticking through the ceiling. Oh, fiddlesticks. How could you do this to me, Claudia? That's a bit harsh, actually, John. Please remember that I said I would help you find a way back home, not that I would take you back home. That's just semantics. No, it's not. Just because you're 462 years old doesn't give you seniority here, lady. This is still my jurisdiction. What are you talking about? Um, I don't know. Sorry, I think I had a rush of blood to my head. Don't worry, it can happen when it's your first time astral projecting. So what happens now? We watch one of your memories. We do what? Remember the first day that you spent in this office after you'd formed your company? Like yesterday. I was standing right on this spot talking to my ex-business partner, Darren Gogglebox, and I said, we've done it, as our old pal. We're now the proud owners of Normal Man Big Cash Incorporated. Fancy a glass of the old bubbly? Hang on, John. I thought it was going to be called Normal Man and Gogglebox Cash Services. Yes, so did I. Then why isn't it called that? Well, if we called it that, then people would get it confused with the TV show Gogglebox and it really wouldn't be great for our brand. There's not a TV show called Gogglebox, is there? Yes, but it's not spelt like that. It's the one with the theme tune that goes, In a perfect world, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, singing. Ah, ah, in a perfect, perfect world. I don't know it. It's really popular. I know that you're a true business guy like me, but you really need to give yourself a little downtime. You could always process some invoices while watching an episode of Neighbors, for example. You're right, John. Sorry I overreacted. I think those 23-hour days are catching up with me. Yes, they certainly catch up with you like a wolf chasing a chicken. Perfect analogy. You know, for a moment I thought that you'd left my surname out of the business because you were intended to double-cross me and ditch me like someone who wishes they worked at a car wash. I'm sorry? You know the song Car Wash? Of course. Well, they say in the song that working at the car wash is better than digging a ditch. So that's what I was referring to. It doesn't make any sense, Darren. And for that reason I have invoked Clause 43B of the company charter that forbids any car wash related confusion and have compulsory purchase to all your shares for 10 pence. Get out of my office now before I call security. Don't make me get Gus to manhandle you. I can't believe this is happening to me. Your name should be John Terrible Man. Get out, Darren. So, John, what do you think now? What an absolutely terrific bit of business. I don't think he realized that I'd already bought his shares before he started with all the car wash nonsense. Right. I think you're supposed to think, oh no, maybe I'm a bad person and I should have treated my lifelong friend better. Lol. That's a good one. So, do I get to go home now? No chance. You'd better believe that we've got more memories to visit. Absolutely fantastic news. And for the record, I'm being sarcastic.